Hi guys, the Snow Rabbit here with a back issue haul video. A few things to show you. Um, nothing too spectacular, I don't think, but anyway, I thought I'd share it anyway. Um, start things off, this is a magazine I picked up, Gates of Eden. It's a black and white magazine, Mike Kaluda Art. It's an anthology title. I'm not sure what year it came out, 1980s, 81 maybe. So that was pretty cool to find. Uh, picked up the Savage Swords of Conan, the Barbarian. This is the annual number one. Um, unfortunately, I didn't realise it, but there's a bit of water damage on it, but I got it for cheap, so I wasn't really too fussed about that. Uh, picked up a graphic novel, Thieves World Part 3. This is a series drawn by, or art by, Tim Sale. I think I may have mentioned this to my good friend Tim, um, who likes Tim Sale, and... There was a six-issue graphic novel and a series, and I used to have these back in the day. Uh, not the whole series, but I used to have about three or four of them, but I gave them away, but I found this for cheap, so I thought, why not? Still on my Corbin um, fixation at the moment, so I picked this up. This is a hardcover graphic novel, um, werewolf short stories, basically featuring werewolves by Richard Corbin. And also found this, The Bodicey, also by Richard Corbin. Um, I'm not sure where these were published, probably in Heavy Metal or some of those magazines. And actually, that's what I look like without my shirt on. Um, not that I'll be showing that off, but that's what I look like. Anyway, thought that was cool. Um, so, picked up a couple of other bits and pieces. Um, I think Hallamouse mentioned this in one of his videos. Um, and I was pleased to find this. This is here today, gone tomorrow. Um, it's a black and white um, graphic novel. Um, I will, it's a reprint of the manga. Um, so that was pretty cool. A little dinosaur with a big head. Um, found this, Sex and Violence, um, cover by Amanda Connor, uh, written by Jim Pamiotti and Justin Gray. Now, this was one of those Kickstarter... Um, projects that they had going and I think he's like he contributed like 25 bucks and it goes towards um, creating a comic or a graphic novel and this was the first one I think it's gone into a second printing so I was really pleased to see that it's got some art from people I've never heard of before um, Jimmy Broxton and Juan Santa Cruz actually I'm surprised I actually pronounced that correctly but that was um, it's like two two stories in um, in this graphic novel. Um, the first story is actually really really good. Um, the art's fantastic. The second one it was okay, but uh, nothing to write home about. But that was an interesting find. Decided to pick this up. I've got issue number one of this, The Mighty Magnor, um, by Sergio Argonis, um, Mr. Gru, and all the Mad magazines, obviously. So I picked that up. This is number two, and whoop, number three. Nearly folded that in half. So I uh, picked up Bone 23, and of course it was there. So pick this up, Aliens vs Predator Annual. Never seen it before, two bucks. You know what I'm going to say, I can't say no. Um, again, a, a Corbin special, uh, The House of Usher. Got it for a buck, so that was really, really cool. Um, I might as well show off DCs. So DCs, these are the DCs I picked up. This past couple of weeks so vertigo quarterly this is a one shot and this is a relatively recent comic um there was no way i was going to pay 7.95 for this well actually in australia it probably cost more like 12 dollars um i've got it for three bucks i thought i'll give it a go yeah haven't had a chance to read it yet i'm still trying to chip away at my dc comics presents this is dc I'm expressing 69, Superman and Black Hawk, and 72, Superman, Phantom Stranger, and the Joker. Cool. Um, again, this is a more recent title. For some reason, I'm not a big Superman fan, but I've been picking up a lot of Superman books, which is really bizarre to me. But anyway, I heard good things about this title, so this turned up at the second-hand bookshop, and I thought I'll give it a go. Um, Adventures of Superman number 12, a featuring story by Peter Milligan. You kind of like that cover. That's cool. And 13. 
14 featuring the Joker and a jock cover. That's awesome. Really love that. And also 15 Superman versus the giant robot. Can't say no. Um, still chipping away at the Blackest Night run. So this is Teen Titans 77 with all the dead Titans on the cover. And 78 with Deathstroke and Ravager. Uh, Superman Batman 67. Again, Blackest Night. I was going to pass that up. Blackest Night Greenland Core uh, 41. Now, this is the variant cover. I couldn't find the normal cover, so I settled for the variant. It's actually a pretty cool variant, so got that. I didn't have this. Um, no, it wasn't for free, but um, I got it for cheap, so um, and like I said, I'm trying to complete that run. So Blackest Night, this is the free comic book day zero, issue zero. Still collecting some of more Neil Adams covers. So this is Superman issue 241. So that was all right. Action Comics 361, I think it is. It's been cut off. Um, second appearance of The Parasite and a Neil Adams cover. Uh, it's got a print thing there, but a stamp thing, I should say, but that was all right. Not too fussed about that. World's Finest 174. Again, a Neil Adams cover. Uh, issue 178 of one, uh, World's Finest. Again, a Neil Adams cover. And 183. Again, a Neil Adams cover. There seems to be a lot of pointing going on on these World Finest covers, but anyway, that's cool. Um, again, still trying to chip away at the Brave and the Bold. So this is Batman vs. Eclipso. This is issue 64 of Brave and the Bold. Um, I think that's a Gil Kane cover, which is all right. Um, Brave and the Bold, 78, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Batgirl, awesome. And this is the first appearance of Copperhead. Um, I've never seen or heard from him ever again. I'm pretty sure he's made another appearance somewhere, but whatever. Um, this is the final issue I needed for the Swamp Thing run. This is issue number 11 of volume one. Awesome cover, and I'm glad I'm done with that run. So that's that does it for me. So I might just leave that one up there. Speaking of Neil Adams covers, this is something I picked up last week. Um, this is the Monster um, variant cover for Action Comics. Like I said, don't usually buy Action Comics, but when I saw that cover, Neil Adams, I thought it was awesome, so why not? And the marbles that I picked up, I picked up Red Skull Incarnate. Uh, this is the mini series. Again, it was at the second hand bookshop. It had the whole, they had the whole set. So I thought, why not? It's cheaper than buying the trade. So this is the story of the Red Skull or, or how it became the Red Skull. Something like that. Um, haven't had a chance to read it. So this is issue one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, Marvel Premiere 54, The Coming of Caleb Hammer. Um, I don't know why I picked this up. Um, Frank Miller cover, when he used to know how to draw and Jing Day um, art inside. So Jing Day, very great, art, um, underrated artist. So yeah, I've got it for cheap, so yeah. Ghost Rider number six, I think this is from volume three. This is part one um, of the story with art by Richard Corbin. And like I said, I've been on a bit of a Cor Corbin um, buzz lately. So I've got that. So I've got issue number um, part two somewhere else. So pretty pumped about that. Um, some Kirby goodness, The Eternals, number 12, 15, and 16. Tomb of Dracula, 70, the final issue of the series. I've been trying to track some of these down. They're quite expensive here. I don't know why, but this one, I got this for, oh, I can't remember, about five or six bucks. I can't remember now. Um, but 
um, very expensive to try to track down some of these um, locally, but I'm really pumped and it's in great condition. So that's the last issue of that. The Immortal Iron Fist issue number 11. This does it for me for this series. I haven't got all the issues for this series, but I've got all the Brubaker fraction um, issues. Um, I don't care for the other ones, but this is the final one. Yep, so that was pumped to finally finish that off. Um, Iron Fist, um, John Bernard, um, love for Iron Fist. So this is issue number six, eight, nine. Um, I think I only need two more issues um, to finish off that run. One of them is issue number one, which is probably the most expensive one that I've got outstanding. And the other one where he meets up with Cap, which I think is number 11. So keen to finish that off. Chamber of Darkness, issue number three, featuring a story by Barry Windsor Smith before he did Conan. So, yeah. Um, Submariner, number five. Uh, Tiger Shark on the cover. Oh, I think the first appearance of Tiger Shark. Um, so really pumped I got that. Um, Thor, 148, first appearance of the Wrecker. One of my favourite B-rated or Z-rated villains. Uh, him and the Wrecker crew, they're my, one of my favourite teams. I don't know why, I just like them. And this is his first appearance, so Kirby. And the un uh, well, the X-Men issue 24. Uh, anything significant? Probably not. First appearance of Locust, I guess. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, can't say no to that. Um, Conan the Barbarian number three. Really glad I found that. And I've only got issue one and two um, to get from that run. Um, then I'll have all the Barry Windsor Smith um, issues. I mean, they're going to be tough ones. But this one, for some reason, um, eluded me for such a long time. But I'm glad I got it. So that's it. That's my haul for um, this time around. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Feel free to comment and I'll catch you guys later.